All right, let's take a look at these following two-step word problems. It's very important that you follow the procedures your teachers and I have been doing, which is copying down notes, marking up the problem, and thinking about the answer sentence. So let's go ahead. At the town carnival, Billy rode the Ferris wheel seven times and the bumper cars three times. If each ride cost five tickets, how many tickets did he use? So we're going to be doing this much like tutoring and much like you've been doing in class. No, none of you have to stand up to recite the problem, but we do need to take notes. So let's quickly do this. Um, first important piece of information is the number seven. So the Ferris wheel, F, W, it equals seven times. Ferris wheel equals seven rides. All right. Uh, the next thing was the bumper cars, BP, equals three times. He wrote it three times. And so each ride, each ride cost five tickets, five T. All right. And so the last thing I want to do before I let you solve it is write our answer sentence. How many tickets did he use? He used blank tickets. Excuse my terrible handwriting. I'm writing on an iPad. All right. Pause this video now and solve. How many tickets did Billy use in all? Good luck. All right, let's see if you were correct. So one easy way to do this is to visualize. Visualize how many rides and how many tickets. So Billy rode the Ferris wheel. And something I know about Ferris wheels is they're round. So I'm gonna draw seven of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've already used my Ferris wheel information, so I'm gonna check it off. And then he rode bumper cars three times. And I'm not going to draw cars. I'm just going to draw squares. One, two, three. So I've represented that. And my last piece of information that I have to use is that each ride cost five tickets. So if he rode the Ferris wheel, that was five. If he rode the Ferris wheel again, that was another five, five, and five. So on and so forth. Five, 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 five and five. I'm going to check off that piece of information. So now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count by fives and see how many tickets in all. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So in all, he used 50 tickets. Your representation may look a little bit different, but this helps you visualize. Good job. All right, next problem. Um, Chloe was unboxing some of her old winter clothes. She found four boxes of clothing and inside each box were two scarves and six mittens. How many pieces of winter clothing does Chloe have in total? So as I take notes, let's go ahead and look. She has four boxes of clothing, four boxes. And in each box, so in each box. She has two S, which is two scarves, and six M, which is mittens. And the question asks, how many pieces of winter clothing did Chloe have in total? So to turn that into a sentence, I'm going to say Chloe, C-H-L-O-E, has blank pieces of clothing. in all. All right, pause this video now and go ahead and solve how many pieces of clothing does Chloe have in all? All right, let's take a look. So um, the easiest thing once again would be to draw. So first she has four boxes. Okay, that's the first piece of information right now. One, two, three, and four. Okay, she has four boxes. Inside each box she has two scarves and six mittens. So this box has two scarves and six mittens. This box has two scarves and six mittens. This one has two scarves and six mittens. This one has, you guessed it, two scarves and six mittens. 
So I'm trying to think of how many she has in all. So I'm going to look at one of my boxes. Okay, I'm going to do it in a different color. 2 plus 6 right here would be 8. So each box must hold 8. 8, 16, 24, and 32. So right now I just counted by 8s to see how many pieces of clothing in all. So she has 32, 32 pieces of clothing in all. All right. Let's look at this next problem. There are seven friends playing a video game online. And two more friends joined the game. If each person or each player has seven lives, how many lives did they have in total? All right, so let's quickly take those notes. There are seven friends. And then two friends join. And then each player, that keyword each player, has seven lives. Okay. Go ahead and solve this problem. Good luck. Oh wait, just kidding. Um, we forgot our answer sentence. How many lives do they have in total? They have blank lives in total. Fabulous. Now you can solve. Good luck. Excellent. We are back. So we have seven friends. All right. So one friend, excuse my drawing, two. Oh my goodness, it's going to take forever. Three lumpy friends, four lumpy friends, five lumpy friends, six lumpy friends, seven lumpy friends. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And two of their friends, two late friends to the party join them one lumpy friend and two lumpy friends okay so i have seven friends and two friends join them each player has seven lives so in the game each player has seven lives so this player has seven this player has seven 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 and you guessed it seven so how can i figure out the total number of lives each of these people have well that's pretty simple. I could either multiply seven times nine, because there's nine people, or I could count by sevens. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. So they have 63 lives in total. All right, second to last one. Miss Yao's bookshelf can hold 300 books. If she has 124 chapter books and 76 picture books, how many more books can her book, still, book shelf still hold? All right, so I'm going to quickly take notes. I can hold 300 books in all. I already have, I have 124 CP chapter books and 76 P, B, picture books. How many more books can my bookshelf still hold? My or her bookshelf, so you're writing along with me, can hold blank books. Awesome. Go ahead and pause this video now and solve. Good luck. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to visualize my bookshelf, okay? I have a big bookshelf, all right? And all together, in all, this should be 100. But part of it has been taken up by my 124 chapter books. And part of it has been also taken up by my 76 picture books. So I'm wondering how much space I still have left. So one thing I can do is I can add up these two, these two numbers to figure out how much has already been taken up. So I'm going to do that now. 124 plus 76. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 7 is another 10. 200. So this little purple area is actually equal to 200. So 300, this number, 
this whole box minus 200, which is this box, would equal 100, which is how many books are left over. Awesome job. All right, this is my very last problem. Paul bought six boxes of candy, of chocolate candy, I'm sorry, and four boxes of caramel candy. If each box has nine pieces inside it, how much candy does he have in total? Let's quickly take those notes. He has six box of chocolate. He has four boxes of caramels. Caramel. And he also, each box equals nine pieces. So inside each box is nine pieces. And the question is asking us, how much candy did he have in total? So he has a blank candies. So the label is candies in total. So this helps me realize that I'm not solving for boxes, I'm solving for candies. Pause this video now and solve how many candies does he have in total? All right, we are back. So once again, I'm going to be visualizing what this problem is telling me, okay? So I have six boxes of chocolate candy. I'm gonna do that, I don't really have a brown, so I'm just gonna do that in purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six boxes of chocolate, and I have four boxes of caramel. I actually have a caramel light color, so I'm gonna use yellow. One, two, three, four. So right now I have my six chocolate, four caramel. So now I can check off that piece of information. Check, check. My last piece of information tells me that each box has nine pieces. So this box has nine, this box has nine, 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 and nine. My goodness. So each box has nine pieces. So there's two ways I can figure out the total number. I could count the number of boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and multiply that by nine, which would give me 90. Or I could skip count by nines until I got to the total. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four, sixty-three. It's great to be alive. Is that right? Seventy-two. Now I got thrown off. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72 is great to be alive. 81, 90, so the total was 90. Clearly don't know my 9 sounds as well as you guys do. Good job.